Hey guys, welcome to Solidify 3D. In this video, I'm going to show you the process of creating this lightsaber from scratch. If you want to try and make this model yourself, you can do that by checking out this model on cgtrader.com. The link is in the description. So first, I started off with a simple sketch of how big I wanted this model to be. Here I'm just going over the lines just to make sure it's a little darker so that I can bring it over to my modeling software and begin modeling. I've mostly tried to keep it simple, keep the lines as minimal as possible. The total length ended up being around 18 centimeters. The modeling software that I'm using is called Rhino 3D and it's probably the best modeling software out there in my opinion. Now I have exported these parts individually in STL format and separated the smaller and bigger parts to be printed separately. I own an Ender 3 and these are the print settings that I'm using. Overall it took about 6 hours to fully print. Here we have all the parts ready and printed. This took quite a bit of time. This was actually my second attempt and the first one I couldn't get these ridges done properly and this model just wasn't thick enough. Here we have the first iteration and you can see that the part isn't flush. It's just sticking out. So I made this second iteration where it would just sit in the groove. So yeah, the walls weren't thick enough, so I made another one. And this was just perfect. It came out beautiful and it fit exactly how I wanted it to. Now that we have all the parts, let's just get started with sanding. Now make sure that you're in a well-ventilated space because this could get a lot toxic. So yeah, also try wearing a mask and get yourself some gloves. Here I'm just using some basic stuff, some, some tape and some spray paint. Here I also have some spray paint putty. This works great for 3D prints. Here I also have some sandpaper. I would recommend getting 400, 600 and 200 grit sandpaper. It works the best in my opinion for 3D prints. Here I'm just taping it up so I can get it uh, putty spray painted. I'm using a metal wire to hold everything in place while I spray paint. Just a couple of light coats are more than enough. You don't want to do it too much otherwise it's just going to be a lot harder to sand it down. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same for all the other parts. So this is what the parts look like after a couple of hours of drying. You can still sort of see the layer lines pretty, pretty clearly so you probably want to use a putty filler. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this uh, putty filler. This stuff really is horrible to smell. So you want to be quite quick with working with it. And it dries out very fast. So, so I'm just going to take a little bit of it on my hand and make sure you that you're using a glove. Just dab it onto the surfaces where the putty spray paint hasn't gotten through. You don't want to go over it like a couple of times. Just go over it like twice and if you do it more than that, it's gonna stick to your fingers. Now here I am using a 100 grit sandpaper to get the putty sanded down a little bit more on the thicker parts. And once that's done, you can try using a 600 or a 400 grit sandpaper. Here I'm switching between both of them. This is about like 2 to 4 hours of sanding. 
once you're done with the sanding let's just get started with the painting process here i'm just going to use a brush to get any of the dust off of it and here i'm using a matte black spray paint i'm just going to go ahead and do the same with the other parts Here I'm just going to do a uh, silver instead of black because I wanted to try out two different iterations, one with black and then over that with silver and this one just silver coats. And there seems to be a bit of a difference between that because the one which I painted with silver over black with had a little bit more of a shine. Here I'm just going to finish up with the rest of the paint job. Um, just a few pieces left and we can get started with the masking right after this. I'm just cutting up some masking tape. We just need to start off with a clean edge here. So we're gonna start off with the bottom part and we're gonna wrap it all around so that we can just paint the top. Here I'm just giving some nice even coats of paint and make sure to get the left side too where it's a little hard to reach there. These are some of the smaller parts and I just masked it up real quick and gave a quick coat of silver paint to the rest of them. Okay so now it's been an entire day since we painted them. And this is the best part when the reveal finally happens, when we take the masking tape off and revealing that beautiful finish. The parts just turned out to be amazing. This particular part looks really, really good. Uh, the bottom part also has come out really well. This this one, I gave it two, two days and, and the tape was a little sticky. I think it's best to just have the tape stuck on for a day and not more than that. We can use these wires for a little bit more of a cooler effect. Here I just found some wires lying at home and I used them to create this cool effect where there are wires coming out of the hilt. I'm just using some super glue to stick the buttons onto the surface of the plastic pieces. I find that Fabricwick uh, works pretty well. Now we are pretty close to the end of this tutorial. Here I'm just putting up the final pieces together. Be a little careful with the glue here because if the glue gets onto the finished surface it could leave a stain. Now we're pretty much done with the bottom part. We can get back to the top part and assemble the emitter. It was a little tricky to get this uh, positioned correctly because they have to be aligned right. And that was a little bit of a design flaw that I had in this design. I think I will be working on the version two of this pretty soon. Stay tuned for that. This is the last piece going in and the final piece is aligned to the hilt and it looks absolutely great. Once the last piece goes in, it just looks absolutely beautiful guys. You guys should definitely try and make this and let me know in the comments how it goes. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe. And if you want anything 3D printed or custom designed, head over to my website and get in touch with me in the contact page.